A viral video shows an astronaut in a spacesuit walking slowly on a rugged surface. He is holding a Mexican flag. Suddenly, the illusion is broken. When a car drives past, what was the video's purpose? All I've got in my head is like the eye dents for MTV, which started oh, yeah, like yeah, the, that's the right, Apollo the, yeah. thing. I'm like, did they launch MTV Mexico? <laughs> and the filming just went badly wrong. <laughs> No, was, no, the car, was the car a part of, like, was the car intentional, do we know? Was it supposed to have a car break the illusion? Uh, the car was supposed to break the illusion, yes. That's actually a very good guess. Is this anything to do with those people who believe the moon landings were a hoax? Oh, so it's a fake, fake moon landing. <laughs> In this case, no. Is it anyone who has a vendetta against Mexico? <laughs> Large orange politicians? Or against astronauts? Or both? Not in this case, but I'm sure somebody does have a vendetta against Mexico. I'm sure there must be someone out there. And someone will just have a vendetta against Mexican astronauts. Just... <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. I've got nothing to go on here. I'm just yeah. stuck on moon landing hoaxes and like... Also, why is it viral? What are they promoting? Yeah, I have to say, when I read this question, I was also like, I'm glad that I'm the one reading it and not the one guessing it. Well, also, when you say viral video, do you mean video that went viral? Or do you mean they were trying to make a viral video, which, you know, usually... Oh, those are two very different things, aren't they? The number of times, back when viral video started to be a thing, the number yeah. of times I sat in some meeting with a, where they were like, we need a viral. I'm like, that's, <laughs> not, that's not how it works. That's not, that's not how this works. Come on, Tom, make me a viral. Um, I, I've literally been in meetings where, like 2008, 2009, that was the term used. They just called them virals and just assumed that you made a thing and that's what happened. Right. It's so many grammar issues with that phrase as well. Oh, yeah. says, says the virologist. <laughs> Well, uh, this was intending to get a large audience, and it did. So I guess that would be that would be how I would answer that, I suppose. Did it get a larger audience than they'd intended because of the car? Um, I would say no. The car was part of the point in the first place. Is so this advertising a specific thing? It is not advertising. Oh, okay. Pu public service announcement? Uh, not from a government agency, anyway. <laughs> wow. I'll tell you that here that the astronaut is really a performance artist. It performed in slow motion to make it look like uh, reduced gravity. And then the car went by very, 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 very fast. That is not in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> but it was made by a performance artist who was trying to make a point. Were they making a point about cars being everywhere? About, the, about there being too many cars in Mexico and now we can find them on the moon? No, that doesn't make that's sense. That's not Sorry. it. But that's an idea for a Not Just Bikes video. Let me just write that one down. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make you a viral. <laughs> I need some more virals. Yeah, that phrase hurts me deep in my soul. I mean, that also, that phrase has stopped being a thing since the pandemic. Like, we're not calling them that anymore. Yeah, right? Good. What do you call a uh, viral video post-pandemic then? A TikTok. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. I, I will be quiet now. It's not my time to turn to guess. What kind of car was it? And does that make a difference? I have no idea what kind of car it is, and it does not make a difference. <laughs> the only thing important is that it was a car that went by. Is it important that it was a Mexican flag? Uh, it is important that it was a Mexican flag because it was specifically targeting a Mexican audience. Was it something to do with the elections? Uh, not to do with elections, but he close because he was trying to target the local authorities with the video. Is this potholes? <laughs> Is this yeah. just someone angry about potholes that they're like the surface of the moon? Oh. And I've got a Mexican flag and there's a car going by. That is literally the answer, Tom. Well done. Get in! <laughs> <laughs> the answer here is to highlight the poor state of the city's roads. <laughs> You think they're bad in Mexico City? You should see what they're like on the moon. <laughs> it's just kicking up dust and that's just getting in people's lungs and killing them. It's, it's, it's no, no, it's fairy dust. It makes them fly. Oh, of course. <laughs> you, do, you don't want to get those mixed up. You don't want to get your fairy dust and your moon dust mixed up. <laughs> no, you do not. Anyway, that, that's why the astronauts were able to jump so high on the moon is because of the fairy dust. Um, of course. So, so here it says... At first, it seemed like the rugged surface of the moon, but then we understand that it's actually a very badly maintained road. The stunt was performed by 
oh, I'm not going to get these Spanish names, the Mexican names right, by Boveda Celesta in Pachu Pachuca, the capital of Hill. Hidalgo State, Mexico. It was. Do you want based... to try that one more time? Yeah, no, let's not try that again. I'm not doing a second take because I know the second okay. would be just as bad as the first. Okay. It, it was based with permission. <laughs> Why don't you make up your own names and put near... them in? <laughs> <laughs> sure, exactly. It was based with permission on a near identical video performed by an Indian artist from uh, Bangalore. Uh, after the initial video went viral, it had the desired effect. The local civic agency began repairs to the road. I kind of assumed that it was staged somewhere that was just even rockier, but it was literally just on a pothole road. Yeah, that's pretty great, actually, that it was 